Good morning, everyone. Jack here with 360 Fitness, and welcome back to the seven day jump start. We are on day four. You're over halfway. Congratulations, guys. Uh, if you made it this far, you're going to finish. You know you are. I know you are. Everybody knows you are. So keep your head up. Keep running, keep going. So what we're gonna be talking about today in the next two to three minutes is workouts, okay? So what type of workouts should you do for the best fitness results, okay? It doesn't have to be crazy, and we're gonna be talking about that. A lot of times people think that working out has to be so advanced and they have to do this, that, and everything else. They gotta work out seven days a week for two hours in the gym, and no, not at all. Workouts can be very, very effective if they're still simple and if they're t still really, really time effective, all right? So we're gonna be talking about that real quick. So for the best fitness results, guys, I want you to strength train three times a week for 30 minutes at the bare minimum, okay? If you can fit in more than that, either adding an extra day or increasing the length of your workout, that's awesome. But I really want you to focus on just getting the foundations and that strength training three times a week for 30 minutes. Now, strength training doesn't have to be done in a gym. It doesn't have to be done with dumbbells and barbells and machines. Strength training just is another word for resistance training. So whether it's body weight training, whether it's with a rubber band, or whether it's with milk jugs filled with sand or rocks, it doesn't matter. You need to be increasing your strength. You need to be challenging your muscles. You need to have some type of resistance, all right? So think about it that way, whether you need to do a bodyweight workout or in the gym or what have you, strength training three times a week, 30 minutes. And then I need you guys active living, again, three times a week, for 30 minutes. Whether this is walking around the block, whether this is going for a run with your buddy, with your girlfriend, whether hiking, sports, doesn't matter. I need your heart rate up and I need mindful active living three times a week for 30 minutes. Okay? So three times a week lifting weights or doing some body weight stuff or bands or whatever you have to do. It just doesn't need to be anything crazy. Just get started uh, and then active living three times a week for 30 minutes. And I need you guys to dedicate a rest day, okay? So you guys can do these back to back or morning or evening or spread out through the week, but make sure that you have at least one day during the week where you rest up. Sure, you can have some active living, you can go for you know nice light walks or walk the dog or go for a light bike ride or anything else, but you don't need to track it, you don't need to have that, that heart rate up, you don't need to get sweaty on it, okay? But you need to dedicate at least one day for a full rest and recovery. Recovery is very, very important when you're strength training. Another thing is, guys, that you don't need to double your efforts to see amazing results. A lot of people go too much too soon and then boom, right? So they get on the train and they're going, 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 they can't keep up and they fall off the tracks, all right? Goals can be met and you're gonna see a lot of big changes and big results on as little as an increase in activity of 25%. Okay, so let me say that again. You can see amazing results and big changes in your body and in your life and in your mind with as little as a 25% activity increase, all right? So whether that's staying an additional 10 minutes at the gym, or whether that's adding one day a week to your routine, or whether that's even just increasing the intensity of your workout by 25%, the results can be phenomenal. So you don't need to double your efforts overnight, and you don't need to go to the gym for an extra couple hours or anything else like that. Just increase whatever you're doing by 25%, whether in time, in frequency, or intensity. All right, so for your workouts, guys, to see the best fitness results, I don't care what you're doing, this is your bare minimum foundations. Strength train three times a week for 30 minutes. You can have a good active living where you're getting up a heart rate and you're sweating three times a week for 30 minutes. You're gonna have a complete rest day and you're gonna increase your activity level, remember, in intensity, in frequency, or in duration by 25%. You're gonna see some big changes. Happy day four, guys. That's your workouts. Have a wonderful day. Kicks ass. Take some names. Make sure that you're on track for day five, six, and seven, that you've already planned those meals in advance. If not, this is the time to do it. Have a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.